I get asked all the time, what's the difference between Amber Electrics and Local Volts? Now the biggest difference is Local Volts is a peer-to-peer -peer platform. So if you go to getlocalvolts.com, it's gonna allow you to sign up, find someone on the marketplace that you can sell your excess energy to on the wholesale market. So say for example, you've got a friend that runs a business in town, you can get them to sign up. They might be paying 40 cents a kilowatt hour from the grid. You might be to say, hey, if you join getlocalvolts.com, I can see my excess solar for 20 cents a kilowatt. It's a win-win for everyone. Now with Amber Electric, the way they work, it's more about batteries and using your excess battery capacity. So of a day, you're in the wholesale market. So if you sell your excess solar of a day, you're just selling it for whatever it is on the wholesale market. Amber Electric really shines at the end of the day when the batteries come in and you require batteries in that peak period. Now with Amber Electric, you can make really, really great money out of it. They take control of your battery and when the prices are through the roof, they will dump your battery and sell the energy back to the group when the prices are through the roof. For both companies, when you're not selling to someone on local vaults that you know, or with Amber Electric, you're on the wholesale market price and that fluctuates. And that can go from anywhere between zero cents to over a dollar a kilowatt hour. Being in the wholesale market can really expose you to whole different price swings, which can be really, really valuable or can cost you a lot of money. So it's important that you really understand how the network works and when to use energy at the best times. The best way I think about it, if it's really sunny and shiny and everyone wants to be at the beach, energy price is gonna be really cheap. If it's cold and miserable, everyone's at home, energy prices are probably gonna be really expensive.